November, we got an upgrade, right? We went from the bicycle to the steam engine uh, with the launch of ChatGPT. We are bringing search grounding in Bing to ChatGPT. Next, we're bringing the co-pilot to the biggest canvas of all, Windows. And today, as Satya said, we're excited to announce that we're going to bring Chat, GPT, and Bing together as with the default search experience. Let's take a look. Here I am in Chat, GPT, and as you can see now, Bing is the default. And when I come in and select it, I can now ask sort of real-time queries. For example, let's ask what I should expect to hear from, about Build and .NET. And what you can see is the results now are more up to date. They include fresh content and they include citations. We're also excited to announce that we're going to bring interoperability between uh, ChatGPT and Bing for plugins. So you write them once and they're going to run everywhere. So here's an example. I'm on a web page here checking out a recipe for a cake. And now I can call Bing Chat and ask it to tell me, hey, give me the ingredients from this web page. And notice Bing can read the context of the web page, understand those ingredients put them into chat, and then I can say, hey, give me a shopping list for this. And it'll automatically call the Instacart plugin, take those ingredients that are right off the page, and put them into an Instacart shopping. And with one click, I can get those now delivered to my house. Let's show you how you'll be more productive at work. Uh, here, I'm going to use Microsoft 365 Copilot. I, now I'm in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to uh, need some help for drafting a legal contract. I got a legal contract here, and I need some help with California law. So I'm going to call three plugins from Thomson Reuters to edit this document. First thing is I'll go into Copilot, and I'll, I'll pull it up, and I'll say, hey, help me understand how to edit the limitation of liability using the practical law plugin. It'll read the document, find the paragraph, and make that change. Next, I want to know if this is enforceable under California law. So I'll call the Westlaw plugin that will do that analysis, and it'll come back and give me an analysis about it from a legal perspective. As Satya shared, we're excited to announce the Windows Copilot. Let me show it to you. Here I am in a coding project on my PC, but I want to configure my PC to help me be more creative and more productive. All I have to do now is invoke the Windows Copilot. Uh, I now just come down here to the taskbar, I click on that, and now we'll pop up the Windows Copilot on the right. This side pane here will be consistent across every app that you use on your PC. And just like with Bing Chat, I can now ask it questions like, how can I adjust my system to get work done? And not only will I get a bunch of great suggestions, but watch this. I can now, with one click, take action on those suggestions. For example, I can put it into focus mode. Developers, we like dark mode. There's a suggestion here for dark mode. So with one click, I'm now here on the dark side. And to really get going, I want to get that coding playlist going. So I'll pull the plugin from Spotify and say, give me a great coding playlist and now I'll have it ready to go. The next thing for us which is really exciting is AI Studio. This is the full life cycle tool chain for you to be able to build your intelligent AI apps uh, and your co-pilots. We are really thrilled to be announcing Microsoft Fabric. You know, it really brings together compute and storage, so it unifies compute and storage. It unifies all of the full analytic stack product experiences. And GitHub is uh, used by over 100 million developers and is literally the home of open source. And with GitHub, you can build amazing AI solutions, including all the co-pilot capabilities that Kevin just talked about. Now, one of the most exciting new capabilities that we've launched with GitHub uh, is a new service we call GitHub Copilot. So let's see some real code. For this demo scenario here, I've inherited some Python code from a coworker. It's pretty purely documented. We've all been there, right? With GitHub Copilot, I can simply write code by accepting code suggestions. So here's a little unit test. And I can just press the tab key a couple of times. And I've written a full unit test in seven lines of code with no you know, learning the code and whatnot. But what I can do with Copilot is to provide additional context. I can't tell Copilot what I want. Well, until now, because now we have Copilot Chat. It sits right here in Visual Studio Code. It suggests tasks based on natural language, and I can interact with it down here to both learn and build while I'm coding. I have no idea what those are doing. Let's see if Copilot can explain them to us. OK, Copilot is rendering my response. And you can see here the first regular expression is validating email addresses. The second one is validating phone numbers. And the third one is validating strong passwords. Might make sense, I guess. So let's highlight this and make this code a bit more readable. Make this code 
more read, read well. And Copa has analyzed my code. You can see here, you know, now my regular expressions get nice names, I get nice comments, and now I have a much better documented file that I can pass on to the next coworker. You get a free Copilot chat, you get a free Copilot chat. <laughs> Everybody here right at Build in, or in, the, in the audience gets early access to Copilot chat today. Uh, when you use the Azure OpenAI service, uh, your instance is isolated from every other customer. Your data is not used to train or enrich the foundation AI model that's used by others. Um, so you don't have to worry about anyone other than your organization benefiting from AI that's trained on your data. And your data and AI models are protected at every step by the most comprehensive enterprise compliance and security controls in the industry. This week uh, at Build, we're introducing our new Azure AI Studio. Uh, the Azure AI Studio makes it incredibly easy to ground your AI models with your own data and to build retrieval augmented generation or RAG based solutions. Uh, and this enables you to build your own co-pilot experiences that are specific to your apps and organizations. And you're going to see it, it, we've made it really easy to do so. It turns out that creating your own private company co-pilot that understands your data with Azure OpenAI Service has never been simpler. In this scenario, we're the Contoso Outdoor Company. We're trying to make Contoso happen again. Notice that when I ask it a question that's specific about a return policy, notice I, I'm asking about camping and I'm, I'm wondering if I'm going to get dirty. And now that I purchased the Trailmaster X410, I want to know, can I send it back? Notice that the response that it gives is effective and it has the right documentation. So how do you do such a thing, you might ask? Well, it all starts with Azure. You go to the Azure portal and create a new Azure OpenAI resource. What you do when you get this is you get this Azure AI Studio, which is a new experience which makes it incredibly easy to ground your AI models with your data. I can use any of the available models. Notice here I have GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo, amongst others that are on there. And notice that I ask, when I ask it about camping, it has a pretty good answer, and you can see these responses in there. What happens when I ask it a specific question about the return policy for the Trailmaster X410? Well, notice it just it doesn't know. So how do I fix this? You've heard a lot uh, from uh, Kevin about something called the RAG pattern which is where you retrieve facts, inject them into the prompt or augment the prompt, and then what you do is you generate a new response. So this rag pattern that Kevin talked about is such a common pattern that we've simplified it to just a few clicks. So let me go ahead and click Add Data, and then go to Add Data Source. Notice that when you add your data source, you can select from a number of different data sources. Also, there is a new vector embedding available to you right in there. Now let's map some of the data together. There's the content, there's the file name, there's the title. Let's hit save data and now I'm going to ask it some of the same questions from before. Notice that I'm getting a better answer that's grounded in data and also when I ask it about a specific policy, return policy for the Trailmaster X410, not only do you get an answer but you get the citations from your actual Data. Uh, and the great thing is what such as demoed is now in preview for you all to use. Uh, and this week at Build, we're also releasing a new Azure AI model catalog that makes it incredibly easy uh, for you to also use and consume every open source model out there across your Azure AI solutions. And this week, uh, we're announcing our new Azure AI content safety service uh, to make it easier for you uh, to also test and evaluate your AI deployments uh, for safety as well.